Clava Cairns. Yes, I've just stepped off a plane. Bumped Funny in, you bump into, bumped into isn't a it? couple hey, of uh, hey. reprobates, as I Neil calls them. I just went out to KFC and I've ended up at Clava Cairn. <laughs> From Manchester to Inverness in the time it took for my little bumhole to wink. <laughs> you know, they built the fire because the Druids, the, the pagans, the Picts, they were very heavily into You know, they, if they saw an eagle change direction in a funny way. Oh, that was the gods. Hello, if you're wondering what's going on and what you've been watching, I was invited to do a photography talk for Neil James on the Photography Walk Retreat in Scotland. An absolute honour and a privilege. And of course, I made a video, as you've seen, the start of it, that is. So, what's going on? Well. Five guests, me, Neil and Lynn Fraser, all heading off over Scotland, giving workshops, masterclasses, talking about photography and also some in-depth information on how Neil puts together his podcast, which is what we're going to cut to next. A little bit of a sneaky snippet into how Neil edits a podcast. I mean, I best crack on because... This was from last year. So there. All right, go on, go on. She'll miss it. To organise things. So when my elbows are into pieces bunged up the middle, I don't need the splash lid yet, so I just need to find this. It's all right, but you can open your eyes and just check, isn't it? That'd be Scotland. Hey. We pull in, heading to Lot Marie. Just give you a quick brief rundown. Uh, can't stop smiling. We've passed so many protagonist trees, beautiful forest, woodland, so many trees and then you park up and you see someone who you met at Perch Rock in Liverpool. <laughs> <Hi. Hello. laughs> Unbelievable. Look at the shadow and light moving here. But the treat when we get down to Lot Marie for the trees. Very excited. Can you tell? This is incredible. Everywhere you look, you're getting mountain ranges, we're getting light, we're getting squalls, and we're getting rainbows jumping out of unicorns' asses. Oh, just incredible. <laughs> oh, right, got to get the big boy camera. That is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. What a thing to see. It was only a rainbow, he says. It's never only a rainbow. That was quite special. It's still there. It's still lingering in the distance. And it's moving in a, the focal plane, moving back and forward as this squall is coming through. We're getting light filtering through. And can you see that rain is incredible? Just the outline of the peaks here. That was truly a, a beautiful moment. I stopped the car. I'm getting out. Come all this way to Lot Marie. Incredible light show. I think the rain stopped now for today, which is a shame because the light show and the rain 
was making it unique and to toss in the odd rainbow and unicorn along the way and to come all this way and then to focus in where the light is hitting the rocks under the water and illuminating this golden glow. Now there's a James album. Is it Love Mother? I can't remember the album, but the album cover is like a silhouette with the shimmering gold. Looks like it's reflection in water. And this just reminds me of that. It's got that same feel about it. So I'm playing around with CPL, the polarizer cutting through. I'm just bringing it back a touch so we get these waves. Just every now and again the waves pass over the gold and it, it, it changes the abstraction and it gives you something quite unique. extreme winds, we're getting squalls blowing through, we're getting light filtering beyond, we're getting rainbows and we've got these birch here that are covered in lichen and covered in character, they're, they're just speaking to me but this mum and dad have got a wee little family member who's trying to hold on in this wind, we've got waves behind, I'm overexposing and we're still controlling the speed of the shutter to gain movement, not take it away. I want this ferocious movement here. As you can see, this is spiraling and, and swirling. And as this is taking place, you've got waves lapping up to the feet of these trees with the wee baba that's bent over and mum and dad shielding and protecting their spouse. It's not over. There's this tree here as well. I'm going to move back and try and compose something with, with the, 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 the collection, if you like. And that's Grandpapa. As you can see, I'm finding it difficult to uh, <laughs> keep hold of the tripod and make sure nothing blows away. Oh my goodness me, this is incredible. I don't want to branch on my head. So I'm going to leave you for now, get this shot, and I will, I'll pop this up at the gallery at the end. So there. I've never been anywhere quite like this, where the switch from squall, storm, rain, to light, beautiful light, 22, 22 in the afternoon. And I am truly gobsmacked. I've got another composition after the big, powerful winds and the rain. It's died a little. I've left the birch and I've come right to the side of the lock where you've got these wispy grasses and in the foreground those wispy grasses and the water flowing in gives a lovely leading outline but then it brings you back in with the mountain I've gone vertical on these I've stopped for now as the light and the blue skies returned but there was a moment then where the light was just so, so beautiful. My God, the wind's back again. Look at those trees. Look at that. It's so powerful. The gusts are just bursting through along this lock and getting such big waves for, for just a, a, lock, a lock. 
Look at this. I think I might spin around and get this shot next as well. Day two. It's been outstanding. I've just bombed it. Oh my God. I always turn round. Oh, wow. That is special. Got to get the shot by. I can't keep coming on and being all overwhelmed. It's just, you can't take it, I know. There's been a couple of moments here that will live with me for a very long time. So I thought I'd come on now and speak and end day two because uh, I think I need to head back down and meet up with everyone. But the light, the squalls, rainbows, unicorns that I've just witnessed I need to return here soon as, I hope sooner than later, a spectacular, oh, day two, signing out, see there. Now at Cromarty, we're getting about a bit. Day three, long morning walk through woodland. Yeah, yeah, I'm done he in. Love that, didn't he? Yeah, brilliant, really good. It was good. How's it going? I'm enjoying it. This yeah. is uh, it's day three for you, but it's day five yeah. for everybody else. So, yeah, for for everybody, it's like the last day. They've got their meal tonight, and then and then they're on their aeroplanes and trains and everything tomorrow we're staying what? together for, we, for the weekend yeah for another yeah. day or two another day or two and a long drive home it's been wonderful do you not want to do you not want to fly rubber band airways home again no 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 <laughs> no i'll give i'll give the paper plane a miss yeah, will you yeah the one that they needed to take all the sandwich <laughs> trolleys off just so it could take off yeah ladies and gentlemen we've uh, rather Rather uh, good voice. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, well, I'm going to be a good captain, I think. Overloaded yeah. this afternoon. So we're having to take off a few of the passengers and the food. And they also lost the manifest of how many <laughs> no. people were on the plane. <laughs> Could you all put your hands up? And, and also, to top all this off, I didn't realise that the plane from Manchester to Inverness had propellers, which you've already watched. You've, I think I might have mentioned it earlier on, but I've recovered now. I had this. I had this idea that you were. You, you'd gone out. You'd walked out to the aircraft, and there was like a seven two seven there. And they said, "No, that's not the one." Yeah. You walked past Just it, round the other it. side. It was a bit like that, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. oh, it was. This, this is your one. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> and you'd be all hanging on the propellers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some old dude like smoking a wood bag. <laughs> Wearing a leather. Flying hat, oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> goggles. That's it. Oh, so I've not got any history about Cromarty apart from uh, the the slave trade, hemp. Yeah. They made hemp yeah. clothes, hemp fabrics. I've got fabrics. Lot, lots of history. I've got, he, I've got the whole history of this place. He's got it all. I'm switching out. We did this when we was at Greenham Common. I kept. Oh, it's so hard. <laughs> My arms hurting. I can't hold the camera. Sorry, everybody. You're in Scotland now. <laughs> Don't do that voice. <laughs> no, no. Scotland, by the way. Um, yeah, I'm coming back probably Lovely. again and again and again and again. And uh, as look, I say, look at that tree. Look at it. Look at that for a tree, oh, ladies it's got and one, gentlemen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. eight, eight. What a uh, tree! Trunks and a big one growing up all through them. You'd call that a name, wouldn't you? I've, would... I've got to say, looking on the back of there. Look at it. The clouds and ah, 
So we're, what we're doing is we're having a spot of lunch, we're having a bite to eat, yep. and then I'm going to come back and get a long exposure of this. Well, I've only got me five, yeah, two to five stop. Possibly get an extra stop out of that. It's quite light. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. But the clouds are, are just stunning. He's got a few CB <sighs> clouds. Looks good. So, let's get walking. Let's see what we can see. It's going to be a bit of a street bit, this. Day three. Yeah. yeah. Now in the streets, from, from the woodland to the streets. Come on. Come on. Come on. So there. <laughs> That'll be the music as you got slaughtered. <laughs> At Salter House Cafe. Bing. gathered here today, friends with heart, to join minds in peace and give ourselves to this world of nature and beauty that surrounds us all. Let's protect the environment Let's stay true to our beliefs, looking after the land, our families, with love and honour. That building was 1500s and I saw some graves in there. Yeah, they're just so old and quite left and just all overgrown so peaceful sitting in that church the smell was what you could imagine a very very old church to smell like the history here do I say it I've not said it for a while it's steeped in history that church was something else. I'll put some shots up at the end, along with the rest. I know it's a long video. I hope you're enjoying it. I'm saying that, I've not, I've not decided yet if it's gonna split, because we're on day three. And the last one is tomorrow, day four. And that's the end of my time up in Scotland. Wow. We're going to stop a bit further down here and have a pint. Come on. Do you want one? I think I'm having a cider. What's your answer? I thought I'd do a wee bit of footage there in homage is it homage? It's not cheese. Homage to my good friend, Glenn of the Black Crack. Cheers, fella. Cheers, everyone. Cheers to me. fruity. My God. 
surprised if anybody in this town says, are you Mally? <laughs> are you Mally? We're going to leave them behind. Really? Are you Mally? I'm going home. Right. <laughs> You're on. <laughs> Welcome to day four, and today, not so early today, we're in Inverness, street walking, we're going to an exhibition, which you will see next. on the streets again and after that I feel creatively cleansed inspired Kieran Dodd's exhibition in Inverness weaving patterns via his photography the resolving and unresolving of the world from his imagination wonderful absolutely superb I feel I do I feel creatively cleansed I'm ready to create things myself. Day four, let's keep wandering. I've got a lot to get through today. See you there. Inverness. We're finishing here. I've recorded this once, but there is a lot of people. It's a very commercial area. Not surprising because there's a big dinosaur lives in there. Did you know? Yeah, there is honest. There's a chap down here. He's the Loch Ness hunter. He's looking for it and has been for many a year. He says he's found it a couple of times. I'm not convinced. Let me know your thoughts down below. And have you been here? My first time in Scotland, as you know, I've said it about 20 times, not surprising. Very excited still. I'm knackered. We're day four. Thanks for sticking with us. I hope you enjoyed that bit of street photography as well and Kieran Dodd's exhibition. I think I might have filmed some parts of that. When this puzzle gets put together and you do see these little parts, Remember to look for the links down below and go and visit the creators of some of this beautiful work we've been witnessing and seeing. As well as Neil and the podcast, go over to the show. Get on the podcast, get involved. Better still, sign up to me on Patreon, sign up to Neil on Patreon and it'll cost you less than a cup of coffee a month. That is value for money. We might even do a meal deal. Me, me and Neil together, I'll be Tango and he can be a tuna sandwich. So sign up, there you go, come on. Hey, anyway, we're coming to the end. I'm, I'm, I'm saying that, we've got a drive. It's around about 500 miles for Neil, possibly more. About four, 400 for me to get back. That road trip, could be an outtake on Patreon. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. But this is how you do it, isn't it? I've been speaking to some lovely people this week from Canadian land and from the US of A land, coining Neil's phrase there. 
So, they've been saying about ways and means to get yourself out there and get people involved with this community and building. And that's you. So come and give me your support. We've just recorded some small pieces, segments for Neil's YouTube channel, which will be rebooted soon. So the link will also be down below for that. And I hope you can head over, not hope, you will head over and subscribe to Neil's channel. So what else have I got to say? Well, from the banks of Loch Ness, I'm done. If you like it, click subscribe. If you don't, it's fine. Just tune in when you can. And well, there's only one thing left to say. And that's, say there.